good morning, Lisa Marie here, and I am getting ready to head out the door. I'm going to be doing a couple of errands today, helping my mother-in-law, and um, just thought I would share with you pretty much my meal planning for the whole day, even though what I'm taking with me in my cooler here is just for the daytime. Um, so here, let me show you. Now, of course, you know, I start my morning pretty much right off in the, the daytime, or excuse me, in the morning time. I have eight ounces of G2 that I put my probiotic into. And I use this one, and I apologize, I know the screen is backwards, what? Uh, because this is a kind that you can actually open the capsule, and I just open the capsule, pour it in, shake it up, drink that down. Usually takes me about 15, 20 minutes ish. And then I have some, I call it my morning tea balm. And it's a balm because it's got protein and coconut oil and then some kind of flavoring to have it. So this morning I chose to have regular um, Earl Grey tea. And of course I do my Gene Pro. Now I mix this in a little bit of kind of room temperature, cool water first so that it mixes up and doesn't get clumpy and get all kind of weird looking. I mix that up first and while my tea is steeping, that's kind of setting and then um, I add to my tea today, I added some of this that I got from the Dollar Tree and this one's the hazelnut but there's also a vanilla and a dollar, hello, and I use about a tablespoon, so that's about a half an ounce, about an ounce um, of this per um, eight ounces of my tea. And then I have some amazing coconut oil. Oh, and I only just started doing that probably at about month four, four or five, um, because you don't want to add anything other than what your doctor tells you at the beginning at all. Um, but my chiropractor is the one when my skin was so dry when he was adjusting me said try adding some coconut oil so I have and ever since then my skin is um, is not dry anymore so it works so let me just show you kind of what I did I have this big cooler because I have a lot of ice in here that will keep everything in here um, out in California It'll keep everything in here cold for my whole day. So I do have some dry goods that I'll explain what those go with um, here in a little bit. I have my disposable forks and spoons and napkins because when I'm out on the road, I don't want to have to accidentally forget um, one of my Rubbermaid or Tupperware items somewhere. And then I also don't want to accidentally forget it in the car or in here and it become a science project. Ugh. So, I get all of these disposable containers, and it's amazing. So, what I've done, my first snack of the day is actually going to be this. And it looks kind of crazy. And what this is, is malto meal, which is similar to like an oatmeal, um, or maybe even, um, I forget what the other thing is called but it's a smaller grain and I like it and I actually like it cold made like a pudding and it made too much so I have extra but I probably won't eat this so what's in here is a tablespoon and a half of malto meal with uh, four ounces of water that's how I cooked it but what I did is I added some of this um, nature's trilogy which is chia, flax, and hemp. And this came in a big plastic bag, and I just fill up my jar with it. But you can see right here, it's all three um, grains or seeds, or I don't know what you call them, but all three of them are mixed in there, so I don't have to try and go, oh, a teaspoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon, which I guess you could. If you wanted to have these all separately, you could totally do a teaspoon of each, and it'd be fine. So I have that trilogy in here, and then I also added a scoop of the Gene Pro because I wasn't sure where I was going, what I was going to do, and how I was really going to be able to have a lot of extra protein. So that's what's in here. 
Then I let it cook for two minutes, steered it up, and then I added some of my um, Torini. This Torini syrup is amazing. And this one is a sugar-free chocolate macadamia nut. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. These are all so good and sugar-free. So I don't use the four pumps like it says. I only use two, but I think in this I probably only used one because it was going to make it too runny for me. Um, so now that's going to be my first snack of the day, probably about 9.30ish. Then my lunch, I mixed up some white cabbage. I'll show you this way. Some white cabbage. I made some ground turkey earlier in the week, and then I portioned it out. So here's one and a half ounces of ground turkey, one ounce of cabbage. Then I have 10 grams, no, five. I do five things, five. So I did five grams of craisins that are um, amazing. These are blueberry. Love them. Then I did, um, oh, some wasabi uh, edamame, like five grams of that. And then I, oh, oh, I normally add nuts. Oh, I did. I added uh, some pumpkin seeds that are salted. And again, only five grams of that. Into this, I then do a tablespoon of this lighthouse coleslaw. I use that as my dressing because it's so yummy. And it's super low in sugar for one tablespoon. It's only four grams of sugar. Hello. And it's so stinking good. So that's what I do. This is going to be salad with this topping which is the little, um, my little two ounce container of these dried onions from Walmart. Um, I just like the crunch kind of there, um, and that's what I do. This is a five ounce container. Also, I got this at Walmart by the paper plates and the plastic cups. Two ounce, you can get this at Walmart also. You can get them at Target. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I get them at a store called Smart and Final, but you can also order these online. This one, though, is a little challenging. This is a, um, oh wait, this must be an 8 ounce, because this is a 5 ounce. Sorry. Uh, this is a little challenging to find in stores to go pick up, so I order that, or I get that from Smart and Final, or I order it online. So there is lunch, and there is snack for that. Then later during the day, I have a half of one of the containers of the Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. This one is, um, yeah, I was going to get you the container and show you it out of the trash, but it's buried. Uh, so this is blueberry. And what I will add to this when it's time to eat is 15 grams of this granola. Again, I looked around, found one that's lower in sugar. It's called Kind and Oats and Honey. They have like four or five different um, flavors, but I like this one because it's got just a little bit of sweet and then of course your crunch. But what's nice is I only use, I don't even use a half a cup. I only use 15 grams. For a half a cup, it's nine grams of sugar. So that's a little high, but I'm only using like half of that. So I'm only getting four grams of sugar out of this and it works for me and my body. So that's what I do. So my second snack is going to be um, the yogurt with the granola. And then I have a teaspoon of that uh, Trilogy uh, seed mix just because I, I like it. So I'm going to have that in there. Then throughout my day while I'm driving to and from, of course, I have my body likes um, six eight ounce glasses of beverage. And it really likes having plain old water uh, somewhere in my day. So I will drink half of this while I'm driving there because it takes about a half hour. And then the other half when I drive home. And what I have in here, I do have ice in there. 
what happened? Oh, it's, I have so much of it. I have half of my tea already in here with ice so that that'll last me through the day. And what I love the most is this Arizona Zero tea. It's a green tea with some ginger. Oh, it's so yummy. I really like it. And one of these bottles, if I have one of these a day, this lasts seven days. So, hey, $2.50 for this, again, at Walmart. Um, but the grocery store has them, too. State of Brothers and all of those, they have it as well. So, I there's my two glasses. There's four. And then I've already had over here, I've had my G2, which is five, and my T, which is six. So, right there, even if I uh, don't have any more beverages through the day, I've kind of met my what I figure my quota. And then I just have lots of ice. I have the little ones and the two big ones. Now what I've calculated in my day and what I've written down in my journal, which is already in my purse, is um, for my whole day, because dinner tonight, we're, we have Friday night date night and we're going out with friends to a place called California Fish Grill. They have an amazing salmon and they have to die for balsamic vinegar Brussels sprouts. What? They're so stinking good. They're so, I wish I could eat more because they are so, I wish I could just eat those. They're so, so, so good. Um, from a woman who hated Brussels sprouts before surgery. Crazy. So my whole day, this whole, this whole section here plus our dinner out with our friends is going to be 975 calories. My protein is at um, 107, which is, uh, I'm, my goal is to be about 101, so that's perfect. My carbs are a little high, and I think it's just because of the extra seeds and um, the granola is why it's a little high. And um, it's at 96. And then my fats for the day are at 29, so that's kind of low. And then my sugars are really good. They're only at 45 out of 60, so that's awesome. Now, in case I want an evening snack when we go out afterwards at the show, which I, I probably will not because we will have had dinner and it will be, I will be very full. But I always, 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 always keep nuts and jerky in my purse. Always. I just always do it. So I use the cashews that are little pieces, and then I'm trying a different beef jerky. I'm trying this Jack um, Tender Bits. Um, we'll see. They feel a little good, so um, one of these bites, one of these chunks will be at least two bites, if not three. Uh, because I take a bite of jerky and then a piece of cashew and I chew them together. I don't know why. I just do. Because I like it. So there you have it. That is what a 975 calorie day looks like. Have an awesome day. I can see comments because I can see the words. Um, so I'll answer them down below. And yep, I got to get. Have a great day. Oh, and today is the 22nd. It's Friday. Oh my goodness. There's actually four people. There's four of you having surgery today. Ah, and um, totally been praying for you this morning and I'll be praying for you on my drive and for the doctors and the nurses who are taking care of you uh, because oh, your journey is getting ready to start and it's just, it's just amazing. So um, welcome to the journey for those of you who are just starting and um, Hang in there with those of you who are already in the journey because um, there's just something special planned for you. I know it. And I'm praying for your success as well. All right? Have a great day. Bye.